if you try to escape, they will shoot you. Right there. Do you know those who are doing that? The Nigerian soldiers. So, Wike woke up about five days ago and he ran mad completely on the Igbos in River State. He now used the phrase, which politicians love to use a lot, the same thing that Hitler also used, the same thing that uh, Lenin used, the same thing that all the dictators in history who actually perpetrated and committed genocide of, mad, of a large magnitude, the same phrase they always use. These people are terrorists. Anywhere you see them, they are terrorists. You have to you have to kill them. If you have to be a responsible citizen, you must report anywhere you see any man or a woman with an IPOP logo is a terrorist because he's carrying a flag and he's holding a placard and he has a phone and he has a social media handle. He is a terrorist. And you must you must get them uh, reported or get killed. That is dangerous. And people sat there where the governor mobilized the state resources to start killing and hunting down Igbos. I asked myself, and I want you to ask yourselves too, to what end? To prove what? If they have burned down buildings and someone is killed, do you have to go on and start killing people who are of their same tribe to prove that uh, you are combating uh, criminality? Is there no possibility that uh, those who participated in the carnage, eh, in the carnage of burning down police stations and the rest of that, is there no possibility that those people are no longer in River State anymore? A government that has no ID, a government that has no data, a government that has no information on who actually committed the crime but decided to go after the tribe they suspected to have committed it. Is that not what uh, Hitler did with uh, the Jews? Is that not what they did? 2020, a PDP governor. I am yet to hear from Atiku. I am yet to hear from uh, Peter Obi. Even though Peter Obi, which seems to be, well, but as at now, I would say a, a little bit of a credible person, politically, from the eastern part of I know many of you will disagree with me. But I'm just saying this as, uh, as an outsider. You know Peter B very well. Now your man. But as an outsider, Peter B looks credible. Credible enough that if he says a word, you will want to believe him. Than the rest of all those who claim to be political leaders of the eastern part of Nigeria. Have you, have, uh, as uh, Peter B or uh, Atiku or Secondus or all other PDP governors are they deaf, blind, and dumb to what is going on in River State? Profiling a tribe because you just want to prove a point that nobody has a clue about. You woke up and you labeled the IPOP terrorist and you said you are giving it, you are, you are additional to executive order because IPOP want to take over your state. How? Then you as a PDP lab dog, you want to defend that too. And they are talking about Bokwari. You said they contribute. You said they give opinion. Eh? A PDP lab dog. Someone is committing genocide. Same thing that Bokwari has been using the soldiers in collaboration with the five Southeast state governors. BAPGAO, BPDPO, BPDMO, all the Southeast states. The Southeast states have been under the military occupation from 2000, from May 29, 2015. That's been over, over five years. They've been under the military occupation. You will think Southeast of Nigeria is Sambisa. You will think Southeast of Nigeria is where Shekau lives or where Boko Haram are shooting their videos, where they cut off people's heads. You will think 
right now. But the people of the southeast of Nigeria, they seem to just have uh, gave up, except the IPOB. Only IPOB, they drag with them, exposing them. And that is what made them the terrorists. And to this day, you remember when they first started attacking uh, IPOB members? They said, they said IPOB members are potential terrorists because uh, tomorrow they may decide to be terrorists and they don't want to have the same thing that a Boko Haram has become. They don't want to have that in Nigeria. You remember they said that? So many of you, you believed them, thinking they were doing the right thing, even though in the wrong way, but they, they, they are doing the right thing, trying to stop IPOB from becoming this and that. You believe them, Abby. Same thing they told you. When killed over 1,000 uh, Shiites, in Kaduna and in Abuja, they told you, they said, the reason why they had to kill them, the reason why they had to stop them, the reason why they had to arrest their leader, the reason why they had to deny them bail, the reason why they had to disobey court orders was because they don't want the Shiites to become Boko Haram. For five years, I am yet to see a single Shiite member with gun. For five years, I am yet to see a single IPOB member with a, with a knife. Not to talk of a gun. But five years, five years, I have seen a Fulani, a, a Fulani Ada drop his uh, staff, his uh, stick, and pick up AK-47. They didn't tell us that. In that same country. We watched in surprise, in shock, how Fulani, who were used to carrying stick and water bottle, started carrying AK-47. And they started staging attack. Fulani men started ransacking their villages, killing people, and taking over their lands, renaming their villages in five years. But the government was telling you, that they needed to kill the Shiites who are peacefully protesting and asking the government to release their leader. They said they needed to kill them so that they can stop them from becoming Boko Haram. After killing them, they didn't kill anybody. They said they decided to arrest Sinam Dikanu because Sinam Dikanu wanted to start a war. And in fact, he has imported the radio uh, equipment uh, to Nigeria to start war. How can a radio equipment start war? They said, yes, that's the fact. They had to kill Inam Dekanu. You believed them. They said it was, it was for the peace of the country. The Inam Dekanu, uh, Biafrans, they want to start another war. Therefore, they needed to stop them. You believed them. But they lied to you. Five years, Nnam Dekanu is yet to start a war. Five years, Shiites are yet to turn to terrorists. But in five years, we have seen Fulani others turn to terrorists. They even have an uh, organization. They started offering to offer security to Nigeria by starting their own vigilante group. In five years, you have seen them rehabilitate Boko Haram terrorists, pay them money and send them back into the society in five years. And a governor in five years is still playing the card that uh, IPOB members are terrorists and you still want to believe him? You really want to believe him? No, come on. If you do, then there is no point in passing the buck when the consequences of this finally comes back. Don't say, I didn't know that I was lying. I am telling you now, and I have given you timeline of their lies, what they told you and what they didn't tell you. Wiki is playing the same card now. Look at that. Wiki is playing the same card now. They are killing young, young people. Those they are arresting, they are taking them away and people never see them again. And 
again, ask the question, to what end? To prove what? And what to who? For what gain? Why now? When Nigeria is so divided, that almost everybody wants to blame Bukwari for it. And the, the little, little mini tyrants, little, little mini thugs that you call state governors are perpetuating the same human rights abuses. They are perpetuating and they're committing the same genocide attack on armless, armless civilians. Who told you that they cannot wake up tomorrow and say it is the turn of the Yorubas? Then get loud mouth. We will deal with them now. The Igbos who believe that they get loud mouth. Those who, 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 who tried, we have destroyed them. Now, you see this Yorubas too. Who will defend you, my brother? Look at me very well. Tell me, who will defend you? If you support them, in killing people who are demanding for just one thing. One thing. Please, let us leave. So that we can leave. One thing. They are not demanding to be your president. They are not demanding to control Nigeria. They are not demanding that they want to be this or that. They are not demanding for anything other than, please, let us leave and there is process or there are processes of ensuring that killing them is no one of the processes why do you have to frame people up to kill them to take a life okay i'm a muslim why do you want to kill me oh i'm a christian why do you have to kill me oh i'm a yoruba man why do you want to take my life I'm an evil man. I'm a proud. I'm, I'm proud of it. Why should you hate me for it? I'm a full and man. Yes, I am proud of it. Why should you want me dead? Why do you want someone dead for who they are when they are not asking to take away of who you are? Why? That is what one thing that uh, really, uh, really jolted me, and I was like, uh, there must be a reason. There must be. There must be an end, uh, you know, result to this. I mean, people protested about bad government. I mean, bad governance. You as a governor, you are alive. Everyone knows that. Then you turn around and blame one tribe, turn it into tribal. And I told you. One very successful, uh, you know, record uh, of this, uh, what you call it, of the NSAS protest is this. If you pay attention very well, Christian, no, Muslim, so, Yoruba, Aousa, Igbo, Fulani, Ijo, Chukuno, I mean, sorry, Tifo, uh, and everybody, including some of us, we know even get religion. We put faith inside them, see? The youth are doing the right thing. In this process, if they continue, they will be able to get their country back. And in the process, maybe they will be able to actually get a real constitution that actually acknowledges and recognizes them, recognizes them as the citizens of the country. Maybe they can actually make something out of it. We're all attached to it. We're not saying, oh, he's a Yoruba man, I'm not supporting him. He's a Yoruba man, he's an Igbo man, I'm not there. Because a Igbo man is there. Everybody was on the street. Those who couldn't be on the street were, you know, were doing all they could online, including myself, raising funds, supporting them, you know, raising awareness as well. Using our different platform to tell people why it is the ideal thing to do. Even in Nam Dekanu that doesn't want to have anything to do with Nigeria, he had to also come in and say, well, you know what, it is the right thing to do. Tribal, religion, political, Every other nonsense became irrelevant for that uh, 13 days. And that was the first time the political class in Nigeria, the criminals, they really felt it until they un unleashed violence on the protesters in order to end it. Do you get that now? 
They couldn't use bribe. They couldn't use intimidation. They couldn't use blackmail. They couldn't use anything. Try, but it wasn't working. Then, like a twist of fate, they just change them in River State too. In Lagos State, they tried to push that too. They said uh, it was uh, uh, the Igbos, Nam Jikano, that said they should go and burn uh, uh, Tinobu's properties. That didn't fly for too long because we realized that all the videos of people who are looting, they are our brothers and sisters eh, who are so happy that they were able to loot and burn properties too. Yes, they were our brothers and sisters in Yoruba land. Do you get that now? So that didn't fly. But Wiki is not just going after uh, the NSAS protesters. He, he, he ignored them. He's going after the Igbos. And he's funding that seriously. He requested for soldiers to come down to the to River State to do what? Not to arrest and prosecute whoever committed a crime. But you know in Nigeria, they will raid you, raid you. When they raid like about 2,000 or 3,000 of you, they will release like half of you. Then uh, you get about 1,500. Then they will save uh, 1,000 of you should bribe your way out. Then at last last, they will end up uh, putting uh, about 400 people through the, the worst dehumanization uh, you, can ever feel, you can ever think about. Is that not how they do arrest in Nigeria? In no people right now. They have killed and killed. They are killing women. They are killing men. They are killing young men and women in Obibo right now. Soldiers burning down buildings. Later tonight, I'm going to bring you the videos. Some of the videos, I can't share them on the, on social media uh, at all. I'll probably be get uh, banned again. Okay. I'll probably get banned if I do that. But I'm going to bring them back uh, later tonight. I'm going to work on them. What people are asking for are not so much. You shouldn't kill people for asking for their rights. Anyone who commits a, a crime should be punished for their crime, right? But you should not go after innocent people. You should not burn down buildings. You should not kill innocent people or arrest innocent people to torture them, to prove what? That you are governor, that you have the power. So I'm calling on all of you. Hmm? I'm calling on all of you who uh, are uh what do you call it who are human rights uh, petition writers yeah nigerians all over the world i'm calling on you to please remember wiki in your uh in your petition okay remember wiki and his family his children who are possibly feeling safe because they have uh, the government uh, backing Know what I'm talking about. So remember them. These are bound. And when you put names down of those, when you put names down for the, of those uh, who are going to go to the uh, what do you call it? Who are going to go to the uh, inter international court of uh, international criminal court uh, in uh, Egg in Holland. Remember to add Wiki and those who are working with him. Uh, the soldiers, Nigerian soldiers are committing genocide in Nigeria across the country. And they are working in, uh, you know, in collaboration with uh, their state governors. So put this on record and uh, let uh, the whole world remember this, that they are killing younger people in river states simply because they identify as IPOB members. So I'm going out on a drive for a few minutes. You can come with me if you want to. I'll show you the road at some point. So, Nigerian politicians are meant to save lives. They are meant to protect you. It doesn't matter what you believe in. It doesn't matter if you don't believe them. It is your right. You can reject what they give you. You can accept what they give to you. If uh, they haven't even given you anything, more like uh, they take from you all the time. So, asking for all those things that are your rights shouldn't be in any way a license for them to kill you. And that's what we're talking about. 
it shouldn't be a license for them to kill you. Wike is committing genocide, and PDP should deny him. They should come out and possibly stop him if they can. And if they can't, then they will be held responsible too or culpable, whichever way you want to put it. So I'll show you around there in Glasgow. Today is Sunday. I'm pretty much uh, off. So you can join me uh, in taking a ride. And uh, if you have other things to do, please, that's just my message this morning. Uh, my sermon this morning. Okay. So let's go on the right. I mean, on the on the drive. When I get there now, I'll change. Uh, I'll change over, and I'll show you the show you Glasgow. 